Hey, Rob Lowe. My name is Regina, and I'm from Saratoga, New York. And I adore you, first of all, in everything you've ever done. I am curious. I know you love animals and dogs especially, and was wondering about Champion from Parks and Rec. Whose dog was that, or is that, if he's still alive, and I hope he is. And um, it looked like you really got along really well with him. Do you still see Champion? Thanks, Rob. Love to you and your family. Bye-bye. Aw, oh, thanks, Regina. Oh, it's great to hear from you. Thanks for calling in. Yes, it was obvious, wasn't it, how much I love Champion? I loved that dog so much. First of all, I love animals and I love dogs anyway, but Champion was really, really special. And one of my great memories of doing Parks and Recreation is the scene where um, my character, Chris Traeger, is being emotional. I think he's crying, lying on a bed, and Champion is just licking his face, and it's making Chris laugh. Um, and we had to put, you know, the old trick. You put a little bit of peanut butter on your face, and the dog you know, wants to lick it off. Champion was so sweet, but Champion passed away last year, sadly enough. Um, and he was a trained professional actor. Um, he was a rescue that they trained. Um, and... I don't remember if Champion was written as a three-legged dog and then they found a three-legged dog or the dog that they brought to play Champion had, showed up in that three. I don't remember the the genesis of it, um, but I particularly love, a. I did a talking head in Parks and Rec with Champion. And in a Kennedy voice, I say, each being I'm three-legged dog. <laughs> and instead of saying... I am a Berliner or whatever Kennedy was saying when he said it. It said, I love this three-legged dog. It's so stupid and fun. Uh, thanks for making me remember the amazing champion. Thanks. Thanks.